Hi, I'm Jasper Simons, CTO at Carbion, and what you're looking at is the first test version of our uh, direct air capture equipment. What you're looking at here in the center is the core of the machine, which is the reactor that contains our CO2 capturing material. To provide the system with air, we use that a big outside fan, which is located in the box outside, to provide airflow through the reactor. The airflow through the material in here, where the CO2 is captured and all the other air is released again through the ducting and pushed back outside again. After a certain amount of flowing air through it, um, the material is saturated, we shut off the fan, we close the valves and we use the cabling here to electrically heat the material inside to release the CO2 again. In our cooperation with Antova Engine, we are working on two sub-projects to help our development. First of all, this is one of the panels that contains the sorbent material that Shilpa is working on. So um, we're investigating the coating of the chemicals onto the carrier material. And then we built that powder into a panel like this. Now, also this panel contains heating wires and thermocouples, so we can also do the heating with this, which brings me to the second topic, which is the heating that we investigate together with Differ. We're using fully electrical heating, uh, which is not new in that sense, but it's uh, novel in this industry. And together with Differ, we're investigating different means to do it and investigating the uniformity of heating. Carbion's ambition for the future is to produce a lot of these machines, but they're going to be much bigger than this one. This is just a test setup, and the reactor volume is only 1% of the real machine that we foresee to produce. So the real machine will be almost the size of a shipping container, which will be placed on the outside. We cannot suffice with just making one or two of these machines, but we need to build hundreds, thousands, millions of these machines to impact the climate in the way that we want. So these will be produced automotive style in large quantities, making hundreds of machines per day worldwide. But until we get there, we still need to develop a lot of technology and we need to innovate a lot more. So we hope to be cooperating with Eindhoven Engine and all of its partners here in the region for a decade more to come. Hello, myself Dr. Shilpa Sonar. I'm working as a postdoc researcher in Eindhoven University of Technology. So my pre uh, project mainly focus on the direct air capture by the different sorbents. So this project will be carried out in the carbon homemade, a homemade reactor, which is called Aladdin reactor. So basically what we are doing, we are synthesizing the different CO2 sorbent and our main aim is to capture the CO2 from the ambient air with the high significant amount during the short time of the period. And the other hand, what we are looking for that we can release this CO2 under the moderate heating condition under a vacuum. So this project, I think that I still believe that it will uh, set the new benchmark to the society to resolve the problem of the global, globally which we are facing for the CO2 concentration. That will also reduce the footprint and emission of it. And I still believe that this project will paint the blank canvas in the greeneries way. <laughs>